What is up homies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie and I am a junior fashion merchandising student at Kent State University in Ohio. And today I am giving you guys a part two to my clothes you need for college video. I actually shared one of these in my back to school series last year and it is one of my best performing videos to this day. I get so many views and questions on it, even still over a year later. So with it being my back to school series going on right now, I figured why not share an update updated version of this. I had a normal freshman year, you know, and then last year I actually had 100% of my classes online due to COVID. So I definitely had like a different school experience and I realized that some of my closet essentials definitely changed. So today I'm going to be giving you guys everything that I think that you should pack for your college experience. Keep in mind that I do go to school in Ohio, so I am in the snow belt. It's definitely snowy and colder where I live a good chunk of the year. And I also am a fashion merchandising student, so my style is a little different, a little more out there, but I'm trying my best to kind of break down the basics, the core pieces that I think any college student should bring. So as always, I'll leave links to everything down below. I'm giving you guys some more updated pieces today, so hopefully you can still shop those. Like I said, check that description bar out and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm posting back to school content every single day this week. So college dorm room essentials, regular college essentials, sorority recruitment advice, freshman advice, all that kind of stuff so stick around I'd love to have you okay starting off without a doubt my number one college clothing essential is actually not a clothing piece it is a sticky bra you need a sticky bra for college not nipple pedals not nipple covers not band-aids a sticky bra you need this one in specific this is from Target it is $17 and I have used this style sticky bra for years now I mean I have gone through so many of this sticky bra it's unreal and I've gotten all of my friends and family hooked on this I am a 34b in the chest and I just wear a typical B it comes a B C D and I would say that it runs pretty true to size these work wonders okay they are super sticky and if you take care of it this should last you around 50 wears if you are taking care of it the right way don't get me wrong by wear 50 that thing is barely holding on but these are awesome for backless top things with bustier style cups things that are trendy and fun and cute but you still need a little support in or perhaps your shirt is a little see-through you're going to want the sticky bra trust me i promise you Okay, next up, you are going to need basic tops in both black and white. I get questions all the time on how to build a versatile wardrobe that can work for any occasion, and I will preach this tip until the day I die. Black and white. There is nothing that these two colors can't go with. I highly recommend getting a short tank top and then getting a longer, fuller length tank top that has a high neck. I recommend getting a fitted t-shirt and I recommend getting a looser t-shirt. And then I recommend getting both of those styles in bodysuit format with these various styles there is literally no outfit that you cannot create so a really super crop a longer crop a full length and a bodysuit in both black and white I promise you trust me now I've gotten so many people hooked on this some of my favorite places to get basics are H&M and Express I absolutely love their stuff but I have definitely some few favorites from Target and Shein places like that that I will leave linked down below Next up, you are going to need a pair of good walking shoes. I'll be honest, my freshman year, my feet were absolutely destroyed because I wore cheap Target sandals to class, like seven miles of walking every single day and it destroyed my feet. So don't make that same mistake. Invest in a pair of off the beaten track sneakers. I did not wear these a single day my sophomore year because all my classes were online, which meant that I was actually wearing my Ugg slippers every day. Those are another essential if you are taking online classes, but if you are going into class I highly recommend the off the beaten track ones they are super supportive very comfortable and they're just that slip-on style that actually doesn't like make the back of your heels bleed which is a necessity for me now that I am driving into the classroom rather than walking just because I live so far off of campus my go-to sneaker is probably a pair of platform converse I love these for going out and for the classroom grabbing lunch with a friend they are the most versatile shoe in my opinion I have them in both black 
and white shocker next up tennis skirts this is like a newfound favorite of mine and i absolutely love them my favorite ones are from spanx i wear these seriously all the time i have one in black i have one in white i have one in navy i have one in magenta i have one in this teal color they are expensive but they are worth every single penny these are the highest quality skirt and unlike the lululemon ones these do not make you look like a box they have pockets for your phone along the side and they have like a little zipper pouch along the back that you can throw your keys in these are great for the gym they're great with t-shirts for sorority things and they're awesome for just going to class when you want to look cute but you don't want to look like you're trying too hard and still be in something that's functional yet flattering last year i like was going through a lumberjack phase or something because i wore so many flannels like i mean i was addicted i have so many pictures in them it's not even funny and it's because they go with everything i would wear these over top of a plain black and white top i would wear them over top of a crew neck sweatshirt I would wear them buttoned up tucked into jeans I would wear them tied around the waist I mean there's really nothing a flannel can't go with I will say that flannels kind of go in and out of style each year like they're always a staple but like whether or not brands release hundreds of them is kind of up to the season i hope that they come back in style because i love them a ton i also really like them with joggers basically any kind of shacket these are great for layering and layering is the key to college next up you are going to need some going out shoes you're going to need a summer version and a winter version so for me the first few weeks of the school year when it's like nice and everyone's tan and wearing shorts i really like lace up sandals i have a bunch of pictures in me in these and I will try to leave one here on the screen so that you guys can get an example of my typical going out attire. I personally like a bodysuit tucked into sh denim shorts and these gold lace up sandals from Express I wear all the time. Not only do I wear these to class, I also wear them to lunch. If a boy asked me on a date, I would probably wear these. Um, and I also wear them going out because they're flat and they're really easy to wipe off and they, because they lace up, they elongate the legs the way a heel would without actually making you wear three inch heels. If you are going to the bars and and you like an open-toed version go for a pair of black heels just a typical block heel like two two and a half inches something that you can actually stand in for several hours my favorite pair are from Shein I've had them for years I will insert a picture of me wearing those here so that you guys can kind of get an idea of a bar outfit and then if you are a sneaker girl which I personally do not like wearing sneakers out just because I don't feel that confident in them um, you know my confidence stems from something a little more more girly more feminine but Air Force Ones are probably going to be your most common shoe that you see when going out at least where I go to school like I said if I do go for a sneaker I typically go for Converse but here is a picture of me in Air Force Ones if you guys want to see you know an outfit like that and then when it comes to the winter time you are going to want black chunky heeled booties i wore these to absolute death my freshman year you need a pair of going out booties they like they need to be designated going out shoes i don't mean a boot that you're going to wipe off and wear try to wear to class or on that date the next day no these are specifically bar frat shoes that are going to be sticky and disgusting and scuffed okay i typically find my pairs from shein i will insert a picture of me wearing those here so that you guys can see and i will leave a similar pair linked down below trust me going out shoes you're gonna need them next up matching sets they are my absolute saving grace i have a gazillion matching sets i have lounge shorts paired with fitted tops i have big t-shirts paired with biker shorts i have hoodies paired with shorts i have hoodies paired with joggers i have every kind of matching set there is under the sun and white fox boutique is my favorite place to get these a hundred of you guys are going to comment down below and say that these are too expensive and blah 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 blah. and then when i share a shein version you're going to say that's unethical it's too cheap i just simply can't win with you guys i'll try to leave both linked down below but white fox is definitely my favorite place to get these sets and they are pricier i'll leave my coupon code down below but they are worth every single penny these are such high quality quality and they launder really well which is key you want something that no matter how many times you wear it no matter how many times you put it in that stupid cheap college washing machine it's not going to be ripped apart I love 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 their stuff and why matching sets are so great is because you're wearing loungewear but you look polished you look put together if you need to leave the house it's not like you're like bumming it super big and matching sets are great because you can mix and match them you can wear the top with a pair of jean shorts you can 
can wear the bottoms with a basic white and black tank top. You can wear them together. You can leave it open. There are so many ways to style them. And in college, it is all about getting the most bang for your buck. So these are going to be super versatile. And I realized my sophomore year with 100% of my classes online that I just wanted to be comfy. And I ended up dressing in loungewear more times than not. Stop packing like every nice puff sleeve top that you've ever owned. You're not going to wear it. I'm telling you this as a fashion major who runs a fashion blog of six years, who loves to get dressed up. You're not going to wear it, okay? I have plenty of nice outfits that I've worn to class. You guys can see all of my outfit of the days over on my website, stylebymckenz.com. But more times than not, I am in something that is super basic, comfy, functional. Black jeans. Do not underestimate their power. If you do not own a pair before going to college, you are going to be screwed. You need to buy a pair. And I highly recommend getting them from Express. That is my favorite place to shop for denim. You probably don't need as many pairs as me. I I have a pair of right skinny jeans. I have a pair of ripped skinny jeans. I have a pair of cropped flare. I have a pair of straight leg, boyfriend, mom jean, you name it. I have every kind of black jean under the sun. My sophomore year, I had an entire drawer dedicated to black jeans. What's so funny about it is that when I'm at home, I never reach for black jeans literally ever. Like I never wear them. When I'm at school, I wear them all the time and everyone around you will. They are the ultimate going out attire. You cannot go wrong with a black bodysuit that's a little slutty but still cute with black jeans jeans and a pair of black booties. If you are going to Kent or a school up north or to a school anywhere where it snows, you need a parka. You are going to want a long poofy parka that goes to your knees and has a removable hood. The hood is key. You want it to be able to remove itself because some days it's snowing a foot and you're walking to class and you're going to want it. And other days it's just freaking five degrees outside and it's not snowing, but you just like don't want the hood like bunching up on your back backpack and that's why I like it. Mine is from Columbia and I love it. I don't believe it's still in stock. I'll try to insert a picture of me wearing it here but I recommend getting a parka and then getting a regular puffer coat. Something that is short, it's cute, it's trendy. This can be somewhere from a store like Shein or Target or somewhere like that because a lot of darties you will wear these puffer coats too but they're also great coats to throw on when you're running to get your mail or to the dining hall or to the gym. You're not going to want your parka all the time but it's necessary to have both. Okay and then my last two things that you definitely need for college are claw clips. I like especially with online school never wanted to do my hair ever because I just sat inside all day and nobody saw me and it's also a really it's really good for your hair you know it's a healthy thing to do to not be washing it every day so I recommend claw clips it's a really easy way to get your hair out of your face and it just looks like cute you know like it's just good okay and then next up you're definitely going to need a crossbody bag something that you can cross across you that's why it's called a crossbody and that is large enough to fit your phone your keys your wallet and I think your water bottle. Your water bottle is key. I like wanted all this stuff for the gym every day, but like I hated carrying it all in my hands. So I got a crossbody bag that was like deep enough to fit a plastic water bottle. And I brought that to the gym every single day. I brought it to the dining hall all the time. Obviously I'm a little different because I wanted my vlog camera with me 24 seven and it's hard to carry your vlog camera everywhere. But I recommend something that, you know, can fit the necessities. Cute small bags are like, cute but they're nothing more than that they're not functional bring a crossbody that's functional a lot of schools you don't bring a purse to the bars or when you go to the frats but I know some schools do and for that you'll want a crossbody as well and then while I'm on the topic of, of accessories and I'm thinking about it gold jewelry it changes everything simple dainty gold jewels you need a pair of gold hoops. If you don't have them already, you need them. I'll leave this pair linked down below. And then layered gold necklaces. They dress up literally any outfit ever. I get all my jewelry from Ana Luisa. It's where my rings are from. It's where these bracelets that I never take off are from. It's where the necklace, like everything is from there. Um, I will leave my coupon code down below if you guys want to shop there as well. But I promise you it will elevate your outfit and it makes you look cooler than you actually are. Trust me, with my job especially, I have so many clothes at school and these are the things that are like my tried and trues. I reach for over and over and over again. Bring what you feel comfortable and confident in and I promise no matter how much you have packed, you're not going to wear it all. Um, even if you bring the bare minimum, that's just how it is. But 
that's my best advice. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out that description bar, like I said, and click that subscribe button to see more college content. I move in in less than a month, so my move-in vlogs and my college week in my life will be back to regularly programmed content very, very soon. Talk to you guys then. Peace out, Girl Scouts.